Dear all, welcome to Civil Services with Zaki. Today we are going to discuss about how our lake related to the ground water and as you know this is related to the major geographical concept series and my geographical concept series is based on the best graphics and animation as you know. So uh, but as you know our geographical concept series will continue in this year also and after uh, the water resources we also start with the land resources so after this video you can find the what is soil and other things so uh, this is uh, this uh, topics are very very these topics are very very significant for the civil services examination whether it is indian geography or world geography so let's uh, see what what are the today's topics so today's topic are how are lakes related to the groundwater another is what is a bridged lake another how do we stream interact with water table and also what is a gaining stream or gaining river and also what is a losing stream and losing river so we discuss all these uh, topic so stay with us till the end of this video and after uh, th this video we also uh, tomorrow start the current affairs series and as you know current affairs series so uh, first video on our current affairs series is what is the oldest uh, oldest plate tectonic so it is a new uh, finding about the oldest tectonic plate discovered so they see this video about how tectonic and, and, why, and how our plate tectonic began and when our plate tectonic begin and what is the causes of the plate tectonic in etc then you must watch our uh, th then you will must watch our this video these videos are our current affairs series and also uh, some of the ups related question also uh, included in this video so that's why if you are appearing in 2023 then this video is very very significant for you so let's move forward and see how lake related to the groundwater and as you know lake can have various relationship with the groundwater most of the lake occur where water table intersect the ground uh, surface but some of the different setting most of the west wetlands uh, represent the interaction between the rainfall surface water and the groundwater so these all water basically these hydrosphere are interact with each other and see groundwater and many be nourished by the ground water flow so see how so first see so some lakes are pitched above the water table so see this type of the lake this type of the lake so uh, lasting only a short period of time so if, if when some type of the precipitation happen some water basically uh, accumulated here and finally they go to the deep into the ground water surface so uh, maybe this type of the lake maybe is some short period of time so uh, lasting only some short period of time uh, after the precipitation but uh, approach, uh, approach to a lake can be permanent if uh, inflow water uh, into the lakes at least equal to the outflow so some see inflow and some of the outflow if inflow and outflow equal they uh, then they lake may be uh, survive a year and after year but if inflow uh, is more and outflowing very less then this lake is a um, form a very short time period uh, basically these lake are very 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 above uh, to the valley and some up to, uh, above to the ground so that's why this is bridged lake so uh, move forward and see how these water run to the bottom of the valley so see here next most lake mark where the water table intersect rises above the land surface so lake can be fed entirely or partially by inflow of the groundwater so see this lake this lake so most of this type of the lake basically form where the 
ground water intercept the surface so see here so these are the basically source of the water of this lake so basically maybe uh, this lake entirely formed by these ground water and maybe partially some ground water and some precipitation and all that so it may be a uh, inflow so uh, here inflow is more than the outflow so uh, this lake is maybe permanent and most of the this type of the lake is the permanent and most of this uh, most uh, of this type of lake basically uh, present uh, across the globe is the near the water table another uh, type of the lake if you see here many lakes along the bottom of the valley so if you see this valley this valley so bottom of the valley where the groundwater is commonly closed at the surface so if you see the groundwater there is the ground commonly closed at the surface and uh, uh, such lake may be nearly the equilibrium position so uh, it means equilibrium means uh, adjacent groundwater neither gaining nor losing so here neither gaining nor losing so here they present no uh, neither gaining and nor losing so this type of the equilibrium position so such type of the lake form but if you go uh, beyond this uh, uh, lake some peripheral lakes also present so see here uh, see here so uh, wetland can be formed peripheral to the lakes commonly uh, basically in the same level as the water table so if, if we see here water table and such type of the if you see the water table so commonly equal to the water table and other lakes is pressed upland and contain uh, clay and other less permeable material to the surface so this type of the uh, leak may, may have less permeable so see here it is less permeable and it is more permeable so more permeable means they uh, allow it to trickle down so uh, less permeable it means uh, the up it means <coughs> material close to the surface the low permeability can trap precipitation and runoff so due to low permeability precipitation and runoff basically trap in this type of the surface so slowing the infiltration water into the ground so they basically slow the infiltration and maybe stop the infiltration of the ground water forming a wetland or ponded water so forming a wetland so that type of that's kind of the wetland also present in the this type of so these are the basically relationship between the uh, pond uh, lakes and uh, basically ground water so what is the relationship between the river or stream with the ground water so see in our next step so how do a stream interact with the water table so see here water in many a small river if you see some small river and stream decreases to the trickle down entirely disappear farther down to the drainage so if uh, go to the sum of the so due to trickle down some river vanish so in other cases a stream will follow even though there has not been rain or snow melt in a long time so if you see somewhere a river but here not the source of the uh, rainfall or source of the ice melt but why this river form so long time so what is the source of this river water so what is the source so basically these occurrence are the result of the interaction of the groundwater so basically these stream are the interaction of the groundwater due to the groundwater these streams are formed so uh, according to these groundwater uh, basically two types of uh, uh, stream form uh, losing a stream or gaining a stream so see how these uh, stream are formed some stream and rivers are the lower in the elevation than the water table next to the stream so the groundwater flow in the stream or river a part of the stream that receives water from the inflow groundwater is said to be the gaining stream or gaining river so basically if you see here some of the river basically uh, stream gain water from this water table so some of these type of the river are from below the water table so water table here so this is the flow of water red arrow is the flow of water 
so ground water flow into the stream river a part of the stream so this type of the river is called gaining stream or gaining river but in the different kind opposite to that uh, opposite to this situation is called losing river so see here see here other channels flow across the area where the water table is below the depth so less below the depth of the surface the part of the stream that loses water from outflow groundwater is said to the losing stream or losing river so that that's kind of the river river or streams called uh, losing stream so see here here groundwater is lower or and river is so this is loses water loses water it means this arrow is the water flow of the water so it is uh, this type of the river is called losing river and this type of the river called gaining river so that's losing river and gaining river so that's all about the interaction between the lakes and basically the river and um, groundwater so this is the very very significant uh, for the point of view the water cycle of the globe and basically for the land because uh, some of the uh, fresh water only found uh, on the land and as you know surface water is very very less in compared to the ground water so about 30% uh, of the ground water 30% uh, of the fresh water in our ground water so uh, that's all about the interaction between the lakes rivers and the ground water so if you are new then you must subscribe our channel tell your friends and colleagues as you know our new series like this oldest a tectonic plate found so also uh, we can find such type of the video on uh, geography ecology environment and all that because these video are very very significant because previous year about 22 questions directly asked from our this video series so uh, that's why this video series are very very significant for the civil services examination IAS examination basically in 2023 2024 and 2025 so these are very very significant so thanks uh, for watching this video thanks thanks a lot